It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. Well, we had quite the trip this past weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, well, it was, we laid down some high miles and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, we uh, got to meet up with a couple of our friends. Um, one had some rocks for me. I'd like to share some of those with you now. We uh, met up with uh, Backcountry with Sean, and we met up with Andrew from the Rogue Rock Hound. And uh, Andrew gave me a rock. Well, he gave me two rocks, but let's look at this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of, it's quartz, but it's like druzy quartz, and it's on these like little nodule tube things. It's a... Uh, I don't know what you call it, other <laughs> nodule tube things, but that's a, a very beautiful little specimen. Happy to have that. He also, um, well, he gave me something that I have been looking forward to for quite, quite some time. Uh, so here's the thing, right? Which one of these rocks weighs the most? You have a, an opinion? Which one? Well, which one do you think? Maybe you think it's a trick question? Well, uh, kind of. Um, they weigh the same amount. Okay. Now, um, I am a fan of kind of... Look, I like kind of silly things, novelty things... And uh, he brought me this big piece of pumice. Um, look at it. Look at this video. Okay. <laughs> now, um, I find it to be quite amusing to have a floating rock. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. I, it's, I find it to be very, uh, v very amusing for some reason. I mean, can you just imagine for a second, like, if you had... A whole, like, you know, a whole... Whoop. So we got 5.5 pounds for this guy. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had, if you had like a big volcanic eruption and there's just tons of pumice like floating in a lake? I mean, it's just, it's so, I don't know. It's so not what you expect to see. It's just so lightweight. I mean, a rock comparably in size that would be... Um, easily 40 pounds if it was entirely solid which while well, this is basically a giant air pocket and it also has a really um has a really interesting sound like you can just take something out and be like hopefully that's picking up it's very tinny um and i just i don't know um i i love that it floats <laughs> um so it was good meeting up with him, those guys. Um, my buddy Nicholas, he uh, he left, put some jasper along with a couple other rocks on my porch, and uh, I think this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I really want to make something out of that. You know, um, I I prefer I like the jasper that has like um, more of that brown butterscotch color to it um i really would like to find some and uh make some make some stuff out of that so yeah thank you so much nicholas uh, that's very 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 cool um i'm very happy to have some of those jasper slabs um i haven't been doing a lot of lapidary lately i've just been kind of going 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 um and this we showed in the visit down to the Rock Rollers Club where we cut the big thunder eggs. Um, a lot of people had different opinions on this. Now, I'm not very good with rocks that are not from here. I mean, you can't know everything. Pretty sure this is not from the Northwest. I did, however, uh, do a hardness test on it, and it's like between a three and a four. So uh, pretty confident that this is calcite. I had wanted to cut a little bit of it off and throw it in some acid. I'm actually all out of acid, so not not able to do that. 
but um, you know, maybe maybe next time when I can get some acid in the shop. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about some books. So I have two new books in, and I've been working my way through these. Uh, the Geology Underfoot, so I got Southern Idaho, and I also have Western Washington. I haven't completed them, but um, I do like the style of these. I think that the way they are written is very good. Um, you know, uh, often when I... When, look, I'm not a trained geologist, right? I just read a lot of things. Uh, sometimes when I read stuff, I, I really have to do a double take on it, where I'm like rereading things over and over again. Some good examples of that would be uh, stuff like Roadside Geology, um, these books. These are excellent, excellent books, but you can tell that they're uh, <laughs> very academic at times, and there's things in here where I'm just like, wait, what? What? I gotta go back and I gotta look up a word. I gotta like double check a thing. Um, Still excellent books, and I absolutely love them. These, though, they really read more like a book, I guess, you know? Uh, I've really only been reading the Southern Idaho one, the Western Washington uh, I, I've glanced through. But these are these are nice books. I, I, I think I would recommend them. Um, well, not fully just yet, but, you know, they're, if you have an under-the-foot... Under-the-foot. Under-foot geology book for your area, it might be worth picking up um we did do oh man we stopped at so many places on, on the, this past weekend um some of which will be this coming week which i think will be really really good um i have we'll be picking up these two things both will be fun fun little videos um the Thunder Eggs, this is kind of a heavy guy. So I thought we could chat about these guys for a moment. Um, very interesting. So the hardness of this stuff is like a seven. And it, it's definitely in this chert realm, but we get up into these pockets of calcine. And I, I'm very fascinated by these thunder eggs. I mean, generally speaking, I'm fascinated by thunder eggs. You know, they just kind of... I like that you don't get to know what's going on inside these things until until you cut them. Um, so it does have a little bit more high bar of entry to kind of mess around with them. But um, yeah, I think these came out really nice. I'm looking forward to someday getting like a maxi lap, vib vibra lap, and be able to polish large stuff like this. Because right now, as cool as it is, I don't have any way of polishing it up and... And that so you know it, it kind of is is what it is i think uh with that said i think we're gonna call this one a wraps for right now um i have some excellent stuff coming to the website in the coming two weeks so definitely check out currently and uh i will catch you all on the next one have a good weekend everybody thank you so much for watching my entire video if you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.